St. Grant personal log. Subject, Callisto da Silva. I don't know if I want to hear this. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> Turn it up! Callisto went from champion of the Russias, the street races, to top of the track, all before she turned 16. She's a legend to the favelas. There's a lot of pressure that comes with being a legend. And that pressure nearly cost Callisto everything. Everyone believed her racing career was over. But to Callisto, it was just a bump in the road. One more challenge to beat. I wanted that kind of resilience for my crew. I needed someone who would never, ever give up. Chase is faster now than before the accident. Stronger, too. Chase isn't broken. She's unbreakable. I like these little bits of backstory Thanks. about the uh, This can't be all characters. of them. I mean, you think we missed any? Unbelievable. Does everyone in this crew have daddy issues? Hey guys, I think <laughs> I found another one. But what's it doing all the way out there? Well, tell me where it is and I'll go find it. I'm not sure if flying actually makes us any faster. Oh, wow. That sunrise. So you open more places up, it opens up more missions. Cool. Starting my sweep. Not a very happy face. Just the way these plants move sometimes, I think they're freaking animals or bad guys. Outlaw, this little guy tried to take off with our canister. 
Equinox data recovered. Manifest shows three canisters remaining. So why does he put all this stuff in a uh, canister? Log. Uh, Subject, Levi McCray. Dipshit. <laughs> Score! Am I the only one hoping we wouldn't find this canister? No, no, not at Levi all. Levi has millions of followers online, and he's earned every single one. When he climbs a peak, when he goes somewhere no one else can, he shares his experience. Levi's gift is showing us how he sees the world, and he does it fearlessly. Levi is also an entitled little brat who snuck <laughs> aboard my ship. He's oblivious to basic social cues. His obsession with selfies is a textbook case of compulsive narcissism. But little did I suspect that Levi would be one of the best things to happen to our crew. The Equinox wouldn't feel complete without him. I'm totally gonna post just the first and last parts of that. I know what these files mean to everyone, but we're still no closer to the research. Anyone have an idea who our wannabe thief is? I think I know how to find the rest of the canisters. Scan that rack. I do like this scanning mechanism. It seems pretty cool. That engine's got Medusa class upgrades. Only one gang on Karit can afford those. You've run into them before? We had a few deals in the past. They didn't all go so well. <clears throat> Putting their hideout on the map. Why, thank you, Shade. Oh, you're so welcome, guys. <laughs> I like Shade. Need to work out how to get some of the shit out of my inventory. That was a pretty cool little... Looks like nobody's home. They're probably out finding a buyer. All these guys cared about was money. Wow, how did you possibly get along? Equinox data recovered. Manifest shows two canisters remaining. St. Grand personal log. Subject, Zevram Va. Rumors say that Zevram was born into a society that values conformity. Unquestioning obedience to authority. A respect for law and order. <laughs> just say it didn't work out. Zephram is a natural born pirate and a thief. Before long, she had her own crew, her own ship, and a new name Shade. But Shade's ambition was her downfall. She ripped off a large shipment of Electrum. It was the biggest heist this side of the Pleiades. But she did off more than she could chew. When I found Shade, she was still leading a life of crime. She made it clear that now she works alone. I suspect that behind all that anger and cynicism, Shade is hiding her deepest secret. She doesn't want anyone to find out that she has a good heart. Oh. Shade, is that true? It can't be. I have no heart. Oh, okay. <laughs> Turbo Vampires, protect the vault! I can't believe you still have that stupid name. Turbo Vampires is a cool name. Wait, Shay? Thought we left you to rot on Haven. Oh, you did. And FYI, you never forget your first betrayal. Yeah, you're going down. He says. Ship conduit. Just the kind of thing you need to open a vault. Those wires have to lead somewhere.
Okay, so now I don't need to follow the other teams. Another ship. No, oh, didn't open the door. Okay, so I have to get up there now. Whoa. Equinox, what do you see right now? Never a bad idea to make some money. Frontier folks left tons of it behind in those old ruins. I'm guessing they won't mind if we help ourselves. So Shade, or should I say Zevron? Is it okay if I call you Zev? Is it okay if I throw you out the airlock? You're always welcome to try, Zev. Two doors, two conduits. I think you're on the right track. Oh, I want to take it. No, yeah, right. No, I don't want to go to some office. Oh, I don't want to go there either. one of those doors. Take a look and see what's inside. See what treasure we've got. Oh, another door. These guys must be paranoid. Right. That's my bad. I might have stolen all their stuff back in the day. Twice. <laughs> you rob everyone you come across? I love you rob me first. What? Don't trust me? Not one bit. Good. You're learning. Whoa. No, I wanna that one. This is no uh, bash damage. Oh, I suppose I can go back and get this one because I don't need that anymore, do I? Are you kidding me? Whoa. They really don't Equinox like me. Equinox data recovered. Manifest shows one cancer <coughs> remaining. Saint Grand personal log. Subject, judge. Years ago, in what seems like another life, I was doing research in the Antarctic. One night, a star fell from the heavens. It was a chunk of raw electrum, and inside, a truly alien species. Thousands of individual creatures existing as a single collective, and they were dying. I built them a protective suit and gave them a name. Judge. What a weird name Judge for an alien race. remember anything about where he came from, or even what he was. But he helped me unlock one of the greatest mysteries of the universe. The power of Nova. With Nova, I built the first Equinox program and began the search for Judge's homeworld. On my second expedition, I made contact with a Bion scientist named Dr. Hespera Thorne. She told me things about Judge's species known as the Swarm. 
that I couldn't believe. Or maybe I just didn't want to. She asked me to help her finish her research. I said no, but I almost didn't. I have to admit that after meeting Hespera, I've never looked at Judge the same way. Last I heard, she was already in the Atlas system, on the world of Vilas. Perhaps our paths will cross again. Okay. I want to know did more about Judge. Did anyone else find it weird that St. Grand never talked about her? Judge, did you meet Dr. Thorne? I met Dr. Thorne on one occasion 12 years ago. I was not aware that they had collaborated on any research. Oh. And the plot thickens. Guys, the manifest says there's still one canister missing. Keep your eyes peeled. It's out there somewhere. Okay, Equinox. We're done here. Really? Progress further in the main campaign to continue. Go to Sonatas. Okay. Four ship mods. Yeah, no, nah, I like the, that one. What's in here? So we've got 15. What's in here? So what's this one? Ooh, plus energy, resistance to heat. Minus 20, boost gauge, cost 12. If I could equip more than one, I'd really like that. Oh, I can put another one in. Nice. Done. Locked. I'll put me in the modding bay. Cool. Nice. Alright, well... That's the main campaign. So at least it tells you when there's side missions and whatnot. That's cool. Alright, well, I'm going to leave now. But I'm also going to stop playing. Because I need a bit of a break. So I'm not going to. I think the next thing I'll do will be the uh, Staff. Oh, really? The Staff of Commission's back on Haven. Oh, bugger it. I'll do the Staff of Commission. No, it's not. No, let's go to the Equinox instead. That's where we'll start from for next time. I should learn to use that pilot ability more often. But this game has been more about exploration at the moment than it has been about uh, anything else. Okay, so even if you're in hyperspace, when you get close to a uh, an object, it slows you down. Okay. No, I'm enjoying this game so far. It's one that I'll probably definitely do a lot of after the camera. Warning. Incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. Really? I got it. I'm going in. Oh, I love how that locks on. You 
next time, pal! How do you not done for? Let's bail! Yeah, hey, so you better. Cool. Alright. Leaving for now.